Guys, don't look. What up, everyone? How you doing today? My name is David Franco, and welcome to the weekend of Vlog Katy Vlog. Hunter Pants is doing his business. Yep, I'm watching him this weekend. Mom and Dad are at Driftwood until, I think, Sunday? I would have went, but it's not the kind of weekend you think it is. It's more of a maintenance weekend. So, in other words, my parents aren't exactly going to be enjoying themselves, you know? They're not going to be doing the pool. They're not going to be doing all the usual stuff we do, bike ride. I mean, I don't know. They might do a bike ride. But in other words, it's not the kind of trip that you want to be there for. They're just doing all the lawn yard work and cleaning up the house, getting stuff up and running for the upcoming driftwood season. So guys, with all this babbling aside, what I'm trying to say is driftwood vlogs are right around the corner. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Hunter Pants, are you excited? I, I don't know if he's excited because he hates that car ride. Easy, Hunter. Don't walk into anything. Poor Mr. Pants has vision issues. He had he had problems getting off the uh, deck because he wasn't sure where the steps were. But his muscle memory is great, so he should be fine for the rest of the weekend. Hi, Hunter. Hi. You enjoying yourself? Is it time to eat soon? You look great for your old age. You look great. Yeah, his vision's not the best, but his health overall is great. He does have a bit of, oh my God, um, a bit of arthritis in his rear legs. Dude, you are taking me on an adventure, but he's fine. I I'm, I'm just saying that because if you start worrying about him because, because of his vision, he's pooping. I don't blame you. Like, I mean, it, it's not fun seeing your dog barely be able to see, you know, um, but look it up blind dogs live quite the happy lives um i mean as long as he's used to his paths and you don't put anything in his path his muscle memory is great and he gets around just fine i mean look at him he's having a time of his life right hunter hunter who's that who's that right there hi come here oh you're a good boy so yep i'm on mr pants duty for the weekend time to eat come on i'll feed you and then it's time to eat for me because i just door dashed Strasburg pizza yeah, I could have driven there. It's less than 10 minutes for me, but I'm not gonna do that. That's the that's the beauty of DoorDash. Bring that food to me. Plus, I don't really DoorDash nearly as much as I used to, and I'm still I'm still paying for my Dash Pass um, every month, which is I think ten ten dollars every month, which is actually a steal. Um, so in a way, I'm still saving money. Nah, I don't know. I'm just trying to convince myself because I need food, dude. Who who pees on a heat pump? Honestly, who pees on a heat pump? <laughs> I am so sorry, Train. <laughs> you nasty. You nasty. Come on down, turn side. Come on. Come on, Tony. Upstairs. See, watch, he's fine. As long as he knows where he's going, which he does for the most part. Come on down, sir. He's just weird with steps. There you go. Come on. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. Come on, Hunter. Tony. Ready? Charge up. Go, 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 go. Hunter. Tony. Come on, Hunter. Hunter. Hunter, get inside. Come on. Come on. Go, boy. See? Don't be dramatic. There's zero. Uh, want some water? No? Okay. Come on, Hunter. Tiny. Inside. That's cat food. That's Evie's food. Come on. He's very stubborn. I'll give him that. Come on. I want to feed you, give you your insulin shot. Not in that order. And then I can enjoy my food. Speaking of, let me check on my DoorDash order. Preparing your order, okay. I got time. There you go, Mr. Pants. Enjoy. And he got his insulin shot. Guys, I cleaned my kitchen. How's it looking? It's not perfect yet because I'm, I'm waiting on paper towels. I'm literally completely out of paper towels. So they're coming tomorrow from Amazon and I ran out of toilet paper. Can you say perfect freaking storm? Okay, so I still have some toilet paper on the roll so I don't have to be using Zero or Maui to wet my tush. Um, but I have a bunch coming tomorrow, which I'm excited about. Just kidding, I'm not excited about that. But yeah, when the paper towels arrive, I'm gonna do a proper clean up of the, uh, what's that thing called, the kitchen counter, yeah. And I vacuumed in here, because this thing was making a mess. So, living room is looking good, and I haven't vacuumed the steps, so don't, don't, don't look at the steps. And I built this last night. 
Shout out to DX Racer. Brand new gaming chair. Isn't it beautiful? I love the design. Give me more space. Isn't that great? And it's packed with plenty of features. It's got the tipple, yeah, tipple? The typical tilt thing and all that stuff. But these actually go in and out, which is nice. And of course they go up and down. You got lumbar supports, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of typically. So this one I'm thankful for. Um, so in other words, I don't have to have like that lump out. So I have like the lumbar support all the way in. I, I just don't like that lump in my back. This I don't know if I like yet, the pillow. Most of these gaming chairs, I usually take the pillow away because I feel like they're in the way of my head, but I don't know. And there's the rear design. Isn't that great? It's a beautiful, beautiful design. I'm not typically a yellow kind of guy, but they offered it to me. I'm like, all right, I'll take it. So DX Racer, thank you so much. And if you guys are curious, I will link this exact chair right below. And they actually mentioned my story in their Instagram story today and Funai, you know, my previous gaming monitor sponsor, they also mentioned me today on both Twitter and their Instagram posts. So two companies in one day mentioned me in their posts, which I think is really cool because I'm a nobody, you know, like I'm not, you know, like a huge creator. Uh, so when these big brands find me, I'm just thankful for that. So thank you. Is it good? Okay, not so keep going. You're good. Enjoy your food. Yeah. Enjoy your food. You're fine. Good boy. I see you all. <laughs> so dramatic. He's like, Brr. his head just went crazy. And that was Maui's bowl. I already went to Goodwill today. There you go. Since I didn't take it down into the basement yet, I figured I would fill up the vlog with a little bit of content. Guys. Shocking. I actually found PlayStation 1 games at Goodwill. I never find PS1 games, at least at my Goodwill. You good? Good boy. Was it tasty? Yeah, so he's fine. I mean, at least he knows where to go. Okay, that could be dangerous. Keep that closed. And he knows where the water is, which is good. All right, good. He's learning. Anyway, I actually found PS1 games, guys. Frogger. Not the most sought after game, but I think it sells for like between 12 and 15, which is pretty cool. Got a big old crack in the jewel case, but not a big deal. Skydiving Extreme, never played it. I don't think I even heard of this game, but from what I can recall, the price on eBay is actually pretty good. The uh, case broke a little bit, but not a big deal. And Namco Museum, Volume 3. Um, I should get like eight or ten dollars for this. So each game cost me three bucks, so nine dollars plus tax. Not bad for three, three PS1 games. I got this. This I definitely overpaid a little bit, but provided it works, I should flip it pretty quickly. This is a $10 Lego brick uh, radio. And guys, look, it actually looks like a giant Lego brick, which is really cool. And judging by the comps, I should be able to get between 20 and 30 for this. So turning 10 into 20 or 30, I'll take it. I'll take it. Profit is profit, guys. It all adds up. And this I found buried in the music CDs. This is the original The Sims on PC. Man, good times. Got it for $3. I should be able to get maybe 10 or 15. And I found this as well, a Sony center channel speaker. Got it for four. I think this goes for like 20. I'm not sure, but it'll, it'll sell eventually. And another Sony speaker. This one's just a typical satellite speaker. Again, like 20 or $30. I don't know what happened to the other speakers. These these are literally the only speakers they had in the set. I have no idea where this stuff comes from. Um, and these are controller grips that I bought with a product that I didn't like. So I figured I'd throw them in my Goodwill bag and I'll sell them eventually. So not a bad haul, nothing extreme, nothing life-changing, but all of these should sell over time. And I ordered, let me see. Not ordered, but received, I guess I should say. Oh, you like your toy I got you? You like your toy? Isn't it cool? Yeah, I got I got that for him at Target today since I knew he was going to be here this weekend. Enjoy, Mr. Pants. Enjoy. Anyway, I got these in, I think, yesterday. And I just made a video today on my gaming channel. 40 loose PlayStation 2 discs, ranging from Rock Band 2 to Hitman 2 to Red Faction, and finally, the random one, 
CSI. So guys, I got all of those games for a total of $58 shipped. 40 games, guys, for 58 bucks. And that video is going live today on my gaming channel. So if you're not subbed to my gaming channel yet, please click that link right below. It'll automatically send you to that sub button. And I really appreciate it because I put a lot of time into that content. And that's my haul, guys. Goodwill, not bad. And this came straight from eBay. Not bad either. Also, Wednesday night, while I was on stream, I won another auction on eBay. Just over $20, guys. Forget this. One No, over 100 music CDs. Assorted condition, you know, from good to great to jewel cases to no jewel cases. Uh, but 20 something dollars for 100 plus music CDs. I'd be an idiot to not buy them. Now, is it gonna be a lot of work for me to list? Absolutely. But I like putting the hustle in, I like putting the grind in, I like putting the work in, that's who I am. I'm not a lazy kind of guy. Um, and plus, it's gonna be a great learning experience because I've never really sold music CDs on eBay before. Uh, so this should give me a great idea of what sells and what doesn't sell. And of course, I'll be bundling some CDs together. Um, you know, to not only save me time, but to increase profit margins as well. Keep him busy, guys, keep him busy. Uh, so I'm gonna start listing these tomorrow and I should have them all listed by, realistically, actually maybe Sunday night. I'm a quick worker when it comes to stuff like that. Also, I have to buy a bunch of boxes to fit jewel cases inside of, because I have sleeves already for this. I mean, for games like these, I should say, plural. Um, but when it comes to shipping jewel cases, I need smaller boxes. I heard a car, nothing yet. The food has arrived. Oh, I'm hyped. At first I had a meat lover's pizza in my cart and I just couldn't justify the cost. You know, it was like $28 with mozzarella sticks. I'm like, no, nah, no. Nah. Plus I'm not even gonna have time to eat tomorrow. I'm probably gonna go to Wawa or Sheets. Um, plus the salad's healthier. But of course I do have to offset the healthy food with some mozzarella stickies, oh baby. I think this is ranch, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the um, marinara sauce. And the ranch is in here. I might need more ranch. They were very generous with the chicken. I feel like there should be more lettuce. But that's okay. That's okay. The chicken's more filling. And I've only had soup all day. I'm gonna enjoy. God, I'm hungry. Many, many hours later. Hey, Google. What time is it? It's 6.20. 6.20 in the morning, guys. Mr. Pants just had his other diabetes shot, right? Yeah, you good boy, enjoy your food. Zero's eating his food, or at least he was. Yeah, for now his food and water is up on the table, so this beast doesn't get to it, right? Oh good boy. And I'm very wet, because I just took Hunter outside and it's raining, it, it's been raining a lot over here, over here in Pennsylvania. Sorry, my voice just trembled there. I swear I'm not nervous. Guys, I need sleep. Great stream tonight. I sucked so much pee pee tonight towards the end of Valorant, but before then, I, I, I did really well. It's just, I'm so tired. I need sleep. Guys, oh, by the way, dinner was good, you know? I mean, it wasn't amazing, but it definitely hit the spot. I'll see you later today. I need rest. Happy Saturday, everybody. How you doing? Hopefully you're enjoying the vlog. Hey, Maui. You like the new box I ordered? Yeah, I literally ordered paper towels just so you can enjoy the box. No, that's not true. Guys, I got plenty of paper towels. Look at them all, baby, look at them all. You gotta love it. I am set for a while. Also, I got a new Razer mouse in. This is the Razer Naga X. It's pretty much the same exact mouse I've been using for years. Uh, but I think it's got twice the tracking or something like that which is funny because I've never had a tracking issue with my current Razer mouse. But unfortunately, and I think a lot of people can agree with me, Razer's a great brand, they're great. They're like the leading PC peripheral company, or at least one of the leading companies. But their quality control is not always the best, you know? Uh, I mean, they're kind of like Tesla. They offer a great product, but their quality control is not the best. Anyway, these side buttons on my mouse occasionally go out. And guys, I use those buttons obsessively. I'm a heavy, heavy gamer. I'm no longer a casual gamer. I'm definitely quite competitive nowadays. 
And I, I just can't have stuff like that happening. So this is an MMO mouse, meaning it has 12 buttons on the side, guys. 12 buttons, which you might think is overkill. Yeah, for you maybe, but for me, no. And it's funny, I mean, I don't, I don't even really play MMOs that much right now. But guys, I'm telling you, first person shooters wise, godsend. By the way, I didn't even know this is coming today. I thought this was coming tomorrow. I've never ordered a COVID test before. I was feeling a little down earlier, like two days ago. So I figured it, it doesn't hurt to have these tests in the house. Now, I'm not gonna take one right now. It'd be a waste, because I feel fine again. I guess I was just having an off night, but this is good to have, just in case. Uh, anyway, the more exciting portion of today's package. There it is, the Razer Naga X. Those are the 12 buttons, guys. I'm telling you, absolute godsend. So if you're curious, numbers one and two are usually my weapons. Three is usually my lethal equipment, like grenades. Four is usually shield repair, five is health repair, but it depends on the game. I think, yeah, yeah, Apex, I use four for shields, five for health, but Warzone, I use five for health, and I don't think I even use four in Warzone. But it's really, really nice to have. Six, I use to inspect my weapon and Valorant, um, and seven through 12 are typically miscellaneous. Uh, for instance, maybe I'll use seven through 12 for emoting or something like that. Uh, but guys, I'm telling you, best mouse I've ever used. I love it. And yes, I do like Logitech. I like Corsair. But once I find something I truly enjoy, for instance, this mouse, it's really, really hard for me to pull me away. That was great English, David. For example, I tried a Corsair MMO mouse. I just didn't like how it felt. It just wasn't ergonomically up to my standards. Now, I've not tried a Logitech MMO mouse. I'm going to try that eventually at some point, but honestly, I'm in no rush. I am, I'm pretty set in my ways, guys. I love this mouse, and I typically have good, good thoughts on tech because I'm extremely picky. So guys, check this out if you want an MMO mouse, and I can't say it enough. Just because it says MMO doesn't mean it's not good for shooters like Valorant, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Fortnite, whatever. Actually, this could be a godsend for Fortnite because you could put all your building binds on those keys right there. Now, I don't do that because I prefer to use a keyboard for building, but hey, if you're into that style, do it up. Guys, it's linked right below. Treat yourself. Oh, and by the way, this mouse is very affordable because you cannot swap out the sides. It's not wireless. So I think I got it for like 60 or $70. Whereas the Razer Naga X Pro, I think it's called, I think that goes for like 120 or 130. So I definitely got a good deal on this. Hi, Hunter. How you doing? Hi, 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 hi. You're a god boy. And this I will be unboxing and giving you guys some brief thoughts on, on my gaming channel. So stay tuned. I love that gaming channel, guys. There's like no stress over there in regards to getting like a high number of views or high number of likes. Uh, it, it's, it's a very chill channel. So, I mean, if you like gaming and if you like me, <laughs> I hope you do. It's linked right below. Thank you. Moments later, once again, second coffee. Just fed the cats. Hunter Pants is chilling. Hi, Hunter. I know, such an exciting life. Look at Evie, guys. He has gotten so good around me. What's up, Eve? How you doing? Yeah, can I pet you? Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. A little too close? Good boy, there you go. Enjoy. Normally I feed him in about like an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, but there's a storm of brewing. Hence why it's suddenly so dark in here. I love a good storm, guys. And my CPA emailed me. I believe she's sending me my tax return info before the end of the day, hopefully, um, because I could really use that refund, provided I'm getting the amount. I think I'm getting, I don't know yet. It's not finalized until it's finalized, you know? Um, but yeah. Let's hope for some good news. I'm patiently waiting for that email to come in. So for the time being, I'm actually playing Halo Infinite, guys. It's been a while since I played Halo Infinite, so I'm trying to brush up my skills. And there was a rank reset, so I have 10 matches to go. It's gonna take me a little while. Um, and I will definitely be taking you guys to Goodwill with me later. Cause it's only 414, I got plenty of time. I, I actually woke up earlier than usual on a Saturday cause of Hunter Mr. Friggin' Pants. Hunter Mr. Friggin' Pants, I like that. Uh, so, yeah, th this this is my Saturday, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm finally heading out. I got sucked in the halo, guys. 
that game can be addicting, especially when you're trying to get your rank. I did indeed do all 10 placement matches, and I got gold 3, which I'm okay with. It's not horrible, but it's not fantastic. I am perfectly happy with gold 3, especially considering I haven't played in literally months, guys. It's, it's been a while, so I was definitely a little rusty. Uh, but there were far worse players than me. So I actually, I actually performed pretty well. All right, guys, by the time I get the goodwill, I am going to have barely a half hour to look around. So this is what I like to call the Saturday night challenge. Let's go, baby. Let's see what I can do. Also, my taxes are finalized, at least the federal taxes. Um, I am indeed getting that three grand back, which is fantastic. That makes me so happy. Now, all of that money is going towards my medical bills just to get it paid off, almost paid off. I still owe a little bit after that. Um, and 500 towards my federal payments this year. So my taxes are lower than usual, which is nice. That's really, really nice. Of course, my income is going to be higher in 2022 than it was 2021, because this year eBay is gonna tax me on everything I do. Uh, but at the same time, my expenses should be even higher because um, of all the sourcing I do and all the shipping expenses. Uh, so it all, it all evens out. Now I do owe local taxes still. I owe like 300 something in local taxes, you know, the Strasburg and Lancaster taxes. It is what it is. Um, but I expected that, so it's all good. Also, I owe my CPA her, her fee, which is a little high, but she saves me a lot of time and she saves me a lot of money. Like she actually gets me money back, which is great. All right, this, this motion light is on the fritz in my, in my garage. So uh, today's a good day, guys. Today's a good day. All right, I'll see you at Goodwill. I probably won't find anything, but you never know. Honestly, I'm mostly going out for dinner. I've, I really haven't had too much to eat today. What else is new? All right, 7.40 p.m. on a Saturday night. Let's see if I can find anything. And if I don't, I really don't mind because I still haven't even listed the stuff I got yesterday. So it's all good either way. I love Goodwill. And for the most part, their prices are okay, you know? But then you see crap like this. A can of cat food for $2.99. Are they crazy? You could go across the street to Target and get a can of cat food for a dollar something. That is, I don't understand who prices this stuff. And sometimes they mark things way too low. For instance, I've gotten DVD and VHS combos, right? For like $2, maybe $5, maybe seven. And I could flip it for like 80 or a hundred. Pricing is all over the place in this. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get it. It's so funny. $3 for a can of cat food? Y'all yeah, flip that share. I hate to say it, but this unit is going to be in the bin soon, or just straight up in the trash. It has been here for weeks. It has seen better days. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants it. Which is a shame too, because this thing has a lot of potential. And I've noticed a lot of blank spots in the tech section. So hopefully by the time I'm back here Monday, patrons, um, I, can, I can find some good things. So you gotta stay optimistic. But yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. As expected. It's a Saturday night. All right, let's check out the toys. Wow, they have dramatically cut down on the plushies, which is a good thing, because that means, like the tech, there's plenty of room for new inventory. Because let's face it, a lot of it is junk. Oh, look at this. This is, it looks like a lot, but it's really not, guys. <laughs> That's crazy. Rudders! It's not mine. I wish it was mine. Hmm. The Saturday night challenge is real. Can I find one item? And I have, let me see, what time is it? 7.41, okay. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing at all. And that's okay. Now let's go get dinner, because I am so hungry. I'm thinking a Wawa roast beef bowl. Oh my God, look at all the black streaks on the side of my car. I'm in dire need of a bath. Oh, I should say my car needs a bath, not me. Tell a friend. <laughs> I'm back. I've always been here. I got something different for dinner. Something I didn't plan on getting. And it's been a while. You thirsty? I got a mac and cheese with Old Bay seasoning, which I get all the time. Oh, third mac and cheese. Oh, get in me. 
And this, I think it's like my third time getting it, maybe fourth. I've only had it a couple times, I know that. And it's actually pretty good considering it comes from Wawa. A cheeseburger. Not bad. Patty looks a little dry, but that's okay. I can I can microwave it, make it a little moist. I got ketchup, mayo, mustard, tomato, leaf lettuce with cheddar cheese. So let's go, baby. And it definitely looks a little dry. But I will tell you, the first couple times I've had it, I was impressed. Keep in mind, Wawa is by no means a burger joint. You're not going to get a Red Robin style burger or a Five Guys style burger. But for what it is, it's not bad at all. You know, you know, you just snorted, right? Yeah, did on purpose. Hi, mom. Hi. How are you? Good. Happy Friday, everybody. Sunday, everybody. Ah! I wish you it wish was it was Friday. Friday. You like? Good talk. Look, crackle. guys. Crackle. I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't vlog after crackle. I streamed. It was late. It was like six Isn't in that the cool? morning. It was like six in the morning. I shot a sleep. It looks like a Look penis. Look at the crackle. That's not done. I just did one side. Guys, this is the suitcase. That is magnificent. Mom, well, seriously. Yeah, it needs another coat, right? Well, no, I'm going to do something on that side. You, you, can see, you, you can see the blue. I know, but it's okay. By the time you do stuff, you'll Guys, mom started with this, right? Yeah. Look, blue, vintage suitcase from what? The 70s, you think? 60s? Yeah, probably 60s. And turn it into this. I'm not done yet. Look at that. Look at that difference. <laughs> that is so cool, mom. I'm not done yet. Good job. And I bought it for her, which is really cool. Did, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. It's already Sunday night. I haven't vlogged all day. I'm, <gasps> I'm very, Wait. I'm very tired. Fuck. Hunter oh, pants. No. I love Hunter, oh, but I miss some crackle. He's kind of high maintenance. Yes. So, well, no, like sleep wise, I had to wake up and I just, I just, I just uh, gotta make sure he's okay. But on. I love him. I love him. He's worth it. I missed an area crackle. Hold on. I made a couple drop shipping sales on Facebook. I made one drop shipping sale on eBay, and I have four regular eBay sales I do when I get home. So I, just real quick. I got quite a bit of work tonight to keep me busy. As I'm signing off soon, I have a first you and I are going to Rudders, right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm so I am so quick. tired. I, like I'm legit tired. I I actually, I actually might get to bed early tonight. Good. You know, good will tomorrow. I'm hyped. I love Mondays. Ah. Oh. Mondays are like my Fridays. Seriously, I love the start of a new week. Anything can happen. Um, There's something wrong with you. Mondays are typically good at Goodwill. Mondays and Tuesdays, you know? New week, new inventory, all that stuff. And I'm home. My toilet paper did arrive, if, if you must know, guys. Okay? Everything is fine. I can poop once again in confidence. Yeah, shout out to mom for Z boxes. This is actually perfect. I think this is gonna be the perfect size for shipping, I believe, my final Target cart, you know, in the in the dollar section, it cost me five dollars. I was selling them for like twenty plus dollars each. Uh, but now this this last one, somebody wanted it for ten dollars, best offer. I gave it to them for ten bucks. Less inventory is a good thing, it frees up room for more inventory. Alright guys, I got plenty of eBay and Facebook Marketplace stuff to keep me busy tonight. Good weekend, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so out of it. I'm so tired, guys. I love Hunter. I'm not. I'm not complaining. But when, when it comes to having a dog in the house, it completely changes my sleep schedule and my sleeping habits. Uh, because this is a cat household, you know. Uh, so my body's just not used to getting up and going back to sleep at random times of the day. Um, but yeah, love you, Mr. Pants. And it was nice to have you over. Not that you're watching this video. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm done. I need sleep. Uh, but of course, I'm not going to sleep anytime soon. I will see you in the patrons only of Lockity Vlog, my next eBay video, my next gaming stream, whatever. I make lots of content, lots of content. You guys have a great week ahead or a great weekend ahead, depending on when or where or why you watch this video. And if you do watch this video, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. You guys are awesome. Take care. Be safe out there. Don't forget to hug your loved ones. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.